Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. This is kind of special. I don't talk about my grail knife so much because I have hundreds of knives. I'm a big collector of knives. Usually the grail is the new knife that I have in my hands, right? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. That's kind of how I feel. But this is the grail knife. It's really the grail knives. And it's hard to explain. You'll, you'll understand it by the end of this. Um, it's a mini collection within Spyderco. I always talk about what's great about being a big Spyderco collector is there are these mini collectors like, do you have all the sages? Do you have the chaparrales? Do you have all of those? There's so many mini collections. But this is the mega mini collection of them all. This is the grail. Now, <laughs> you look at this little knife, you go, that's a grail knife? But when I'm done, there's going to be 17 knives on the table. It is by far the biggest mini collection, you know, unless you collect all of the paramilitaries or something. But this is a super collection. And it's made, I feel just for me, <laughs> small gentleman folders, which is the knives I really love and collected over years. Now, this is the brand new Sprint Run Spydeco Copa stainless steel. Spydeco Copa, K-O-P-A stainless steel. The heritage of this knife and of the collection goes back to 2005. So let's talk about this knife and then we'll talk about the heritage. I feel this is, <laughs> I'm kicking myself. Now this is a sprint run, one of the more recent sprint runs. A sprint run from Spydeco is a knife that's usually, you listen to this, usually, that's an important word, uh, limited to around 1,200, give or take a couple of hundred knives. And once they're sold, they're sold. They're off the market, and the only way you can get them is on the secondary market. Okay? This Sprint Run Copa is limited to 600 pieces only. You see that? And it comes with this little certificate. That's special because usually you don't know how many in the sprint run. Only 600 stainless steel copas. That's important because Spydeco, they originally, I heard, wanted to do 18 copas. And instead, they ended up with 16 copas. This is the 17th copa. The last copa that was released by Spydeco was 2009. <laughs> right? I'm recording this in March 2019. So a decade ago, the last Copa in the collection was distributed. I was not collecting knives back then. So it took me two years to get the entire collection. And I'm going to show you the entire collection and talk about it. There aren't a lot of videos. I think the video that I did pops up when you do uh, when you Google Copa, but uh, so needless to say, I was super excited when I saw that they were going to do a sprint run of a brand new Copa, and I think this must have been released, I think in 2018, between me not being a collector and being a collector, so somehow this slipped through. I just, I hadn't been on eBay for so long, I was bored and going through eBay and looking at knives and stuff. And I saw this stainless steel Copa and it had the certificate in the box. I'm like, is someone faking the stainless steel Copa sprint run? Cause I haven't seen it. They haven't sent it to me. And then all of a sudden I saw like five others. I went to blade HQ and it was on blade HQ. So I had completely, I was sitting here waiting for the stainless steel Copa and it had already been released. So I'm so happy that two days ago 
I bought it. This is my grail. This is part of my grail collection. And I almost forgot about it. It slipped through my hands. So I'm happy that I got it. I was waiting for it to come as a collector's. Um, so listen to me breathing. I'm, I love this knife. Now this is the first time I've held one of Spyderco's all stainless steel knives and got breathless talking about it. Spyderco in the past has done a lot of stainless steel knives. I haven't seen a lot recently. And they're great, but they get all smudged up and all of that. This is a nice satin blade. Um, I, I'm not huge on stainless steel. I have a, I have them because Spyderco released them, uh, especially on the smaller knives because they do show their wear. So let's talk about the Copa, the, the stainless steel Copa. So remember, there are only 600 of these. So right now... You take away this one, there's only 599 of them worldwide. They started a collection in 2005 and they would release as many as five in a year and as little as two in a year. And instead of 18, they ended up with 16. And we'll talk that through when I show you my entire collection. So. The stainless steel, the own, there's a couple of differences with this stainless steel in the regular series. So this is the 17th Copa. There's another Copa, but it wasn't released by Spyderco. The 17th Copa knife in the collection. All stainless steel scales, as you can see. All of the Copas have the same characteristics. And look at the characteristics. You hear me talk about these all the time in all of their knives. First, it's that leaf shape. It's a drop point blade, but that leaf shape drop point blade. Full flat grind. This is like the foundation of a lot of Spyderco knives. I, obviously, a lot of variations. Look, even on a little knife, a little knife that is 5.8 inches total, 5.8 inches total, Look, they have a full 50-50 choil. Told you. That's what they do. 50% of it is steel. Well, and the other 50 in this case is stainless steel holder. But 50% blade, 50% scales. See that? So here's a little knife. But even for my fat Michelin Man hands, it fits perfect. By any definition of gentleman's folder, this is it. Now this is by far the simplest design. Um, a couple of years ago, the, the earliest that I saw, I think it was 2010, um, Sal Glesser, the owner of Spydeco and founder of Spydeco, came out, people were asking, what about Copas, Copas? And he said that for all those years, from 2005 to 2009, they were working with one maker of these and they went out of business and they hadn't been able to find another one that could do that kind of quality for that price. And so now I'm hoping that this is the start of a continuation of Copas. Maybe they found their company that can do these. So let's talk about it. Um, VG10 steel, it's VG10 steel, forward choil. The blade is 2.4 inch blade, all of the Copas have this. 1.9 inch because of that full forward choil, that 50-50 forward choil. Like I said, 5.8 inches total. And it weighs 2.5 ounces. Many of the Copas weigh 2.5 ounces, but it depends on what the scales are. That's the difference in the collection. You get the basics, but all of the scales are different and boy there are some exotic scales now there's a couple of differences with this one and I'm gonna show you a lot of copas to wrap up this but here's the very first copa that they released and this is with Coco Bolo see the Coco Bolo insert um, most of the Copas, the past Copas had stainless steel 
bolsters, stainless steel liners. So it's interesting to bring it back as stainless steel because all of the Copas are mainly on a stainless steel chassis, right? But you can see everything else is the same. This was the very first one that was released in 2005, Coco Bolo. One of the big differences, there's two differences. Look how thin that is compared to this. Now, everything else is the same. Now it's thin because maybe I'm hoping, knock wood, that they, which is smart. Let's start with the pure stainless steel and then start building in the inlays later. I hope they come back with more. But you can see everything is a lot thinner and they don't have a clip. <laughs> Every single one of these have a clip. Uh, I know they're small, but it's great to have a clip because of the materials. You just don't want it screwed up in your pocket. Now, I'll use a Chris Reeve leather sheath. I do use a Chris Reeve leather sheath when I carry mine, but it does have a real nice clip. All of them have the exact same clip. It's a good clip. They're all right hand tip down carry, right hand tip down carry. But if you notice the new one, no clip. And then it has a small lanyard hole, no clip, which is an interesting choice. They all have um, a back lock. You see that? And they all use a David Boyle back lock. David Boyle, decades ago, created the David Boyle backlock. And you see that on a lot of spiders. You see it on a lot of knives. And it has that little dip in the backlock for safety that you wouldn't accidentally. Usually it's hard to accidentally do a backlock because it takes a lot of pressure. But that was so you wouldn't accidentally, your palm wouldn't accidentally push it in. It's called the David Boyle backlock. But that, my friends... You want to know a Kevin Harris grail. There's a bunch of knives I slobber over and want, and you'll see a couple of those as we end up the week and then next week, but this is part of my grail collection. Brand new Spydeco Copa, all stainless steel, Sprint Run, limited like all the other Copas to only 600 only 600 pieces they're still available everywhere it was kind of a silent kind of release <laughs> but they are still available let me give you a look at all of them here's the first one remember 2005 was the first time they released them they released and i might get this kind of wrong but they released three of them four of them this is coca bolo just want you to see everything's the same vg10 steel all of the clips that you'll see coming up will be this way that has no clip right hand tip down but it's a gentleman's folder with a back lock lefties can use it as well obviously except for the clip coco bolo wood insert that's the first one. Oh, i love this collection People ask a lot, what's the one knife that you would choose because they want to buy one Spydeco. And I always hesitate and then I give them the Paramilitary 2 and now the Para 3 or the Delica or Endora because I can't tell them the truth. <laughs> there are now 17. There are 16 knives that I would recommend. And by the way, if you just find one of them, and you usually find them for sale in very good shape because everyone knew they were collectors. There were only 16, 600 of them. I've only seen a couple in bad shape really used up. But if you can find them, it's the price that'll kill you. Because I had to do all 16 on the secondary market. It wasn't that I couldn't find them except for one knife that I'll talk about. It took me two years to find. But it was... And they were in great collection uh, condition because people were thinking about collecting them. It was the prices that I had to deal with. This is the second one in 2005, Black Macarta on the scales. 
The third one, well, look, they're not in order in 2005. They actually released them in the catalog altogether. So this is the 2005 bunch. This is something called Evrina, like a man-made pearl, E-V-R-I-N-A. I can't pronounce, I don't know how it's pronounced, but can you see that? It's like a man-made pearl. Oh, these feel so great. They have that heft with the stainless steel liners and the scales, and they're all so different, whether it's exotic or it's micarta, right? This is called tiger coral, tiger coral. And they, they aren't super perfect, which I also like. You'll see some of the woods and stuff that have some, because they're natural, some little different things. This is tiger coral. I have an early meeting. I almost didn't do this today. I was like, oh, I'll skip it. But I needed to do it because I love this so much. The 2006 group, Gold Pearl. Do you get that? Look, pearl, but with that gold in it. Gold Pearl. <laughs> Listen to me. This is so luxurious, so wonderful. Like I said, if all my knives went away, you know, I'd like to keep one heavy duty knife, one fixed blade, but I want my collection. This knife, every time I open it up, I grip my teeth. This again from 2006 was turquoise. I could not find this. I was at 15 for two years until I, and then when I finally found one, People were asking like $650. I just refused and I finally found it and completed the set. This is turquoise. Another part of the 2006. Can you imagine every year from 2005 to 2009 knowing that you have this wonderful collection coming from Spydeco? This is called Apple Coral. No, it's not messed up. That's how apple coral looks. And I love the complications when you have things like that. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful knife. In 2007, this is the 2007 group. This is called Black Quince. Q-U-I-N-C-E, 2007 feels kind of soft it's real smooth real nice knife there were three in 2007 that's one and look at this beauty abalone and pearl pearl abalone is the stripes over the pearl is that beautiful or what again Great quality, great fit and finish, beautiful, has a heft to it. It's like a nice manly gentleman's folder, and it's beautiful as well. I keep saying beautiful because that's what it is. I think, and this is the last one that was re released in 2007, and this is, of course, Jigbone. I think when you hold a grail, and you know, we throw grails around a lot. This is my grail collection within a collection. Every time I pick it up, my mouth waters. <laughs> it just does. Yes, it is a sickness. I have never denied that, right? Never. Now I'm hoping that YouTube captures the stainless steel by itself usually will capture a picture that doesn't have this, but that's okay. I think it's interesting. 2008, they released the most, four of them. This is stacked wood. As you can see, all the different woods and colors in it. Is this a nice collection or what? Ugh. By the way, I'm telling you about a collection. They would be all from off, you know, You'd have to go to the aftermarket, except for the stainless steel, which is available now. So they will be costly. 
Pacific Blue. But just owning one or two of these are great. Just one with a nice inlay is worth it. Is that a beautiful blue or what? Yeah. I know. It's kind of crazy, but I, I I would go through this collection on my desk, and I'm going to do it when I get back from work and just think about being retired and having this in a great case and every day just to make life special, <laughs> carrying one of them and using them. Um, this right here, again, from 2008, this is pearl and abalone like this one, but it's in reverse. Abalone are the big pieces and pearl is the strip here. Abalone's a strip. Pearl are the big pieces. So they reversed it up on us. Which is just beautiful. Talking about a kid and his toys. The last of 2008 really is one of my special ones. I love this. It's giraffe bone. No, they didn't take bone, kill giraffes for it. But it's called giraffe bone. I like it because of the different colors. It's nice, smooth, like wood. It has all these colors. And that right there, I've seen a lot of giraffe bone. They're all different because it's natural. These are coated, though. You can feel the coating. You can see the lights as they shine. Remember, these are, this is from 2008. It's an 11-year-old knife, but <laughs> nothing is wrong with that. It's not scratch. It's just part of it, and I love it. Giraffe bone. And then the last two were in 2009. This is called squash bone because of that yellowish color to the jig bone. And the last knife that was released in 2009 from Spydeco as a Copa before this stainless steel one was released in 2018, space age material, carbon fiber. That's kind of a class act to end a collection, right? Got all these natural and some man-made fabrics, and then you get that space-age carbon fiber. Look how nice and thick and sub... I love how substantial they are. I really do. <laughs> There's something about it. Yes, it's small. Yes, it's purdy. Decent steel with VG10, but... Oh. Remember, each knife is limited to 600 pieces. So there can only be, and we know there aren't, because I've seen separate pieces being offered throughout the years, etc. But the only possible amount of complete collections, the only around the world is 599 other complete collections. We know they're not complete collections that many. But that's a real nice thing. I love how Spydeco set out, said we're sending a lot of these, and they told you the number. They gave you a certificate that said only 600. There you have it. This is the knife of the day. Is really Copa. But the real knife of the day is this. The brand new Sprint Run, limited edition, only 600, comes with a certificate, Spydeco Copa, stainless steel version the difference very thin but all of these have a stainless steel base under them and no clip but this is the new knife and i almost let it get away <laughs> ah come on old man i almost let it get away i forgot it was out there i was waiting for someone to send it to me so there you have it. I hope you enjoy. I know this is a long one, but I wanted to make sure I got everything in there. Don't forget to subscribe. I do videos Monday through Friday. Um, new knife videos I call Knives of the Day. But I also do pocket dump deconstructions when, I, when I'm not doing Knives of the Day. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Take good care of yourselves. Please, thank you for being there. 
I, I enjoy sharing my collection with you. You have a good day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.